we're gonna be doing the in-depth review of the 2025 Indian Scout 101. <sighs> Indian, why did you guys decide to put four controls on here? I think that was just like, a, uh, that's not for me. Six speed transmission on here. Everything just feels like butter. It shouldn't even be on the bike. It loses out performance. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing the in-depth review of the 2025 Indian Scout 101. This is a very, very special model for this year. Indian kind of threw everything at this bike and if you just take a look at it, this bike is just oozing with performance written all over it. And if you're familiar with the Scout, the lineup and everything they've been offering in the past few years, this just takes all of that to another level. A ton of changes, including the frame, engine, suspension, performance, tech, just it's, you could literally say it's a brand new bike. And you gotta admit, she looks really good, even just sitting there. Even if you're not yet an Indian lover or you're not really into Indians, you can't help but to look and admire this bike. Just everything about it. Looking at it, the way it looks, and just everything that it has to offer. Let's dive into all these details. Now, if you are interested in this model, you are gonna have two options. So as you can see right here with this beautiful red, uh, tone of black and white into it with the Indian badge and head right here in the front, just looks absolutely great on the tank. Um, but you're also gonna have the option to get if flip-flop, then it's gonna be all white as well, which also looks really nice. Now, one thing that makes a 101 so special is that it comes offering the brand new 1250cc liquid-cooled V-twin engine, and they're calling this a Speed Plus V-twin. It delivers 111 horsepower and north of 82 foot-pounds of torque. Believe me, this motor delivers power. You feel it at every RPM. You feel it in every gear. You're also gonna have a six-speed transmission on there, and it's very, very smooth. You can't talk about performance without talking about suspension. You're gonna have an inverted front end fully adjustable suspension for the front. You're also gonna have the piggyback reservoirs in the back, also in that nice gold tint that you see right here, looking absolutely beautiful. The bike feels very responsive, very nimble. Once we finish this part of the video, we'll take it out on the road and we'll talk about more of the feel and rideability of the bike. You're gonna have dual disc Brembo brakes, very responsive once again. Um, these brakes have a really, really hard bite to them. And trust me, if you want to stop like right now, you, you'll stop right now. Now let's talk about this quarter fairing right here. It looks very nice, very well designed. It just fits the bike really good. You can see the rest of the bike and how the lines follow the fairing to the tank and to the back. It just looks really good on it and I'm happy that it is color matched and it's not black. Now, making our way up to the riser. We're gonna have the six inch riser, very comfortable, real good position. I wish I had something closer to me. Um, I know Krauss does make a pullback riser for this bike as well. That would be more of my type of riding style. I like something more closer to me, more pullback. And maybe a bit taller as well, so I wish the bike had like an 8-inch riser. If this was my bike, I would opt out and I would get an 8-inch riser set up with a pullback. Now let's talk about one of my favorite things on this bike, which is going to be this 4-inch digital gauge right here in the front, which is awesome it gives you access to literally everything that you need to know on the bike you're gonna have your speedometer on there everything you need to know about your rpm gauge tire pressure just everything about the bike beyond that you're also gonna have turn by turn gps which is great and it's right there in front of you very visible it's all touchscreen but you also do have the option to navigate the screen with the buttons on the left side right here now let's talk about the gas tank it has a 3.4 gas tank right here so not the biggest gas tank but then again this is not the type of bike that you're gonna be touring on i think it's a pretty good size i think it fits the bike very well a bigger gas tank right here will kind of make the bike look very weird once again you do see the lines just flowing through the tank into the back fender that bob fender which looks very nice as well i love the look and, and i'll mention it again i said it last time in my other video that i was riding the bike 
Indian does such a great job of taking a vintage look and just mixing it together with modern and this is basically what we get right here. Just taking a step back and looking at the bike you could definitely see its rich history right here, its heritage, it just it screams out racing, it screams out performance, um, classic, um, but at the same time you do see all those modern components on the bike which which make the bike so awesome. I really love the design of the whole bike. It just it's very compact, small, it's nimble, um, and it does the job. It does what it's designed to do. Now this stock exhaust right here, I gotta say, is hideous, is huge. It shouldn't even be on the bike. But if you're like me, this is one of the first things that you kind of get rid of and get yourself an aftermarket exhaust that sounds amazing. The new design of the engine looks really good. You're gonna have that 1250 badging right there in the front as well. Looks really, really nice. The seat, believe it or not, is pretty comfortable. You could kind of tell it has some type of gel padding into it. I've been having some time on this bike and I gotta tell you, like I have no issues and no complaints so far with the seat. This weekend, I will be taking the bike out. We'll be doing some riding, taking it up to mountains, uh, trying it out on the twisties and see how she really performs on there. Lighting, you're gonna have LED lighting all around the bike, which is great. Now, here's my only gripe with this bike and it's that this bike is such a performance driven bike. If you look at it, it screams out performance. Like I said before, it oozes out performance. <sighs> Indian, why did you guys decide to put four controls on here? I think this bike from factory should have came with mids with the option to put forwards. But yes, you do have the option to get mids on here. But me personally, on a bike like this, it's just a performance bike. You kind of want to be in here back here locking the bike doing your thing not up here chilling cruising because you you're not going to want to just chill and relax on this bike it's a really fun bike to ride and you're going to want to be ripping on it all day man and four controls just they just don't do it for me i think that was just like a, uh, that's not for me now i'm more on the shorter end i'm five seven i'm able to flat foot this bike feels really good seating position feels good ergonomics of it feel good like I said before I would like more of a pullback uh, riser setup so I could just kind of be like this and not more like this especially with the four controls it's like it's just a weird odd position for me to be in um, but it's I mean it's not that bad anyways I think we've talked enough about the bike looking at it right now let's take it on the road and let's finish talking about everything else that this bike has to offer now to turn the bike on uh, we no longer have a key on the left side. We just have this push button here for power and the ignition right on top. I don't know why they just didn't just integrate it all together here, but whatever. Uh, quick little walk around right before we get on the bike. Like I said, fully adjustable suspension. Uh, front and rear as well. You see the piggyback shocks here. So you are able to adjust your compression and your preload there. Just a beautiful, beautiful bike, man. Very nice. You're gonna have that 101 badge in right here. So you got that Scout 101 edition, Indian branding there, Indian branding on the seat, Indian branding on the tank, Indian branding all over the place, including this cover right here, 101 right there as well. Then you're also gonna have the Indian branding on the piggyback shock in the rear right here. I think. Well, I know for sure, and I'm 99% sure that these are Fox suspension that they use with just the Indian branding. Great suspension, by the way. Very, very good. This gauge is very easy to use. You literally have access to everything on here. Just keep moving over. That's your GPS. Turn-by-turn -turn signal looks great in the sun. There's no glares or anything. Uh, then we have this and that and outside temperature, which is 77 degrees right now. We're, well, 79. <laughs> Pretty blessed today with some great weather. Your gas range. If I wanted to change the modes, I would just press this button right here. You got range, standard, and sport. Right now, it's on sport. We're gonna keep it on sport because you, you, there's no other way to ride this bike if it's not a sport. Just taking off on first gear on this bike. Once again, so smooth. Six speed transmission on here. Everything just feels like butter. But at the same time, you do get that that clunk when you're shifting into gears you feel the power out of this thing i gotta tell you it's been an absolute blast to be ripping around this bike it just let's talk about uh let's talk about this real quick just how agile this bike feels how nimble it feels 
in the twisties, in the corners. It just, it handles so, so good. And it feels light. The bike comes weighing around 540-ish pounds. I'll put the exact weight amount right here. 500-ish is a good size for a cruiser. Very easy to move the bike around when she's off. If you have her in the garage or outside somewhere, just super easy to move. Ergonomics feel good. Like I was mentioning before, if I had to change a few things on the bike, would be that I would definitely go with mid controls. I definitely do a higher riser with a pullback on it as well. And that's about it when it comes to ergonomics. I would also go ahead and change this hideous exhaust out because it's, it's hideous, it's huge for this bike. <laughs> I know emission standards and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's just, it, it's ugly. The quarter fairing does a really good job keeping the wind off of you. Don't get me wrong, you are still gonna get blasted with wind, but not so much as if you weren't to have a fairing on. I'm a huge fan of having uh, a fairing on a bike. It just, it looks cool. It helps out with the wind, you know, it doesn't let you get so fatigued on those rides. And we're just gonna go and go around these cars here. See those little bumps right there on the roads like you the suspension just absorbs everything really really good suspension man and the fact that you're getting all this offered from factory is pretty good now i know this bike comes priced in at a way higher amount than your regular scout would but with everything you're getting on here i would say it's it's worth it i mean the suspension alone in here is great the paint scheme looks awesome and then you got that 1250 cc liquid cooled engine which is great we're about to take it on the highway right now so we can bring her up to speeds for you guys and i'll let you know how she feels on there i don't know if the camera catches it but i see the reflection right in front of me on this gladiator um those gold tubes on this bike with that red combo oof, just looks so good man so so good controls are very very easy you got your cutoff and off switch right here your toggle button on the right um oh another important factor now we're talking about controls this bike also does come with cruise control which is amazing for a, a small bike like this cruise control do you really need it i would say no but it's a plus that it has it it's awesome you got your back button right here this button allows you to just navigate the, the, the screen in case you don't want to be touching and take your hands off the bars your left turn signal right turn signal and your horn and your low beam high beam up here not crazy amount of buttons pretty easy to use straight to the point now at cruising speeds on the highway right now we're at 62 she feels great we're in third gear I gotta tell you something about these gears like they um you can really stretch them out i mean you could go all the way to 9,000 rpm so you don't really have to be going out of every gear right away especially around town you could just stay in those low gears and just hang out there the bike doesn't feel like it bogs either i know before on the on the prior models on those low gears rpms uh it, it, it just felt like it was just bogging a bit you don't have that feeling on this bike anymore so they definitely tweak all this up with the new engine we'll bring her up to uh, higher speeds <laughs> oh man very fun packing a ton of power it's so so smooth like, I, i'll keep saying it again and again the bike just feels so smooth with this power delivery. And not for nothing, this seat, I know it seems very slim and low profile, but it definitely keeps you cocked in there when, when, when you're really, really high speeds, man. I'm pretty surprised. I just noticed that right now. I'm like, wait a minute, we're going at a very high speed and I don't see myself, you know, pushing back i felt set right in would there be a better option yeah i mean i i probably up down and get a custom seat on this more of a step up uh just to even have more of a profile but the seat does a really good job for being a stock seat 
And like I was saying, it's pretty comfortable. Now cruising at, you know, 70, 80, the bike feels great. I gotta say, for such a small bike, delivering so much power, she, she feels comfortable. A really fun bike. I would say this bike is kind of like all around, man. Like if you're looking for a, a, a midsize or small cruiser, this bike does it all. Around town, she's very easy to move around and ride around, very nimble. If you want to put her on the highway, she's packing a ton of power. You can reach out to those 9,000 RPM. Comfortable. Looks great. Great paint job. Classic look with a modern twist. I mean, it, what else can I say? I gotta give Indian a huge, huge shout out for lending me this bike. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, well, is this your bike? No, it's not my bike. So, huge shout out to Indian for sending this bike out to me. I should be having her for maybe about a month or so. Um, so, if there's anything else you want to know about the 101 Scout, or just the Scout in general, drop your thoughts in your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the bike so far. Is this bike for you? Is it not? Um, are you an Indian owner? And if you are, will you be looking at this bike? If you're not an Indian owner, and if you own something else, a Harley per se, it, does this bike entice you? Does it have you thinking, huh, this looks pretty cool. This might be something that might be right on my alley. Let me know down below, man. I gotta say, if I was shopping today for a, a small cruiser like this, I would definitely be looking at this bike. Now, if you don't know what I have at home, I have a 2024 Harley Davidson Lowrider ST. I absolutely love that bike. Uh, bigger bike. I, I, I posted the last video and a lot of you guys were asking me, well, you should do a comparison, you should do a comparison. I don't think the bikes are comparable to do a comparison video. It's just, they, they just, they're not comparable, really. It's so different. Um, but if I keep getting those messages, I just might do it just for the hell of it because you guys want to see it. So let me know if you guys want to see that down below as well. Um, I think that's going to be it, man. Uh, the bike feels great. Do I recommend it? I highly recommend this bike for anyone looking for a small cruiser like this. Feels great. Power delivery is awesome. She looks great. I would just change a few things. Like I said, I would go with mid controls, high riser, pull back. Uh, obviously change out this silly exhaust and uh in the seat do some grips change out these mirrors i mean i do a ton of other stuff because i'm just I'm, I'm just me and i like to make my bikes look very special and and feel better um but that's that's just me but if you just really wanted to buy a bike from factory and not do anything to it this is it right here anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video I'm sorry if it was a bit long. Um, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Let them know what you think about it. Um, and if you're not yet, follow me on my Instagram. Follow me on my Instagram. Same name as my YouTube. MarvelKid87. That's going to be it. I'm going to keep enjoying this day because it is beautiful out. And I want to get more miles on this bike. Thank you guys for watching. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Also, um, the MK87 gloves in collab with Torque. These are my gloves. So if you want to support what I'm doing, support the channel, cop yourself a pair. There's, I think, maybe only mediums left. So if you're a medium, cop yourself a medium or a 3XL. That's all that's left. Um, I do have a new, new, new model coming out in a few weeks. New design. The limited quantity. So tune in for that as well. See you guys later. Peace.